Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and we're at the Lincoln Memorial on the uh, National Mall waiting for the Glenn Beck Restoring Our Honor Rally to start. Later in the day, Beck and Sarah Palin, are, among others, are going to be talking. We really don't have any idea what's going on here. From the very beginning of this great country, our faith has driven us to become the greatest people the world has ever known. But now it seems, as darkness begins to grow again, faith is in short supply. To restore America, we must restore ourselves. We must rediscover the values and principles that the founders established. We must restore the faith that once guided us. I have just gotten word from the media that there is over a thousand people here today. We are humbled that you are here. And we come to you once again asking for healing, for restoration, for recovery, and for reconciliation. Well, yes, Senator, it's by unification. Um, all, religion, all religions coming together as one voice uh, in this great country just to uh, let, let the government know that, that we're united as, as, even though we're maybe different religions, we're united as one people in order to uh, change what the government is doing and, and not representing us. Uh, we, we pay their salaries, they need to know who, who's the boss. Why are you here today? Um, well, I think that there's a lot going on that's separating the country, and I think that this is about unity, this is about everybody coming together, and I think this is just... What is the role of religion in your decision to come here today? You're wearing a Catholic classic t-shirt, so. Um, well, it really didn't have much with my decision coming here today, but it definitely, you know, plays a big part in my life, and I know a lot of people here, um, as well. Uh, religion is important to you, it's important to people here today. What about, uh, Judaism or Islam? How does that factor in? Is that, is that okay as well? Uh, Judaism, uh, this Bible was written by Jews. Islam, it doesn't factor in. What do you mean? It just doesn't factor in. They're here to kill us. If you're a good, if you're a good Muslim, you'll kill Christians. Uh, you know, as as African Americans, do you feel uh, welcome in this crowd, or do you feel, uh, you know, it's kind of light on on, on okay, the chocolate, no, hold right? Tight, hold tight. Okay. First of all, I am not African. I am an American. Yeah. I'm black. Yeah. Yeah. American. I am a black American. And these people are my family. These people are the United States of America. Black, white, and indifferent. I am not African American. I am black American. So I feel very much at home in this crowd. Yeah. Are you a Republican or a Democrat? I am, an, I am a registered independent. I am a registered independent. And I'm going to go whichever way I feel like I need to go. And right now I feel like I'm more Republican than anything. How many people here in, in earshot? How many of you are Republicans? How many are Democrats? How many of you are independent? Okay. Thank you. This is fundamentally not a political rally. There's a political import to it, but it's really about religion and faith. And it is about restoring a lost sense of America. The people here are somewhat inarticulate in what was lost, but they know they want to gain something back. today not as a politician no something more something much more I've been asked to speak as the mother of a soldier today we honor those in those distant lands across this globe where you'll find silent fields of white markers with the names of Americans who never came home look around you and look to the world past the monuments where are the heroes today. Where are the Washingtons, the Jeffersons, the Lincolns of this generation? Do you dress like this every day? Do you dress like this every day? I, uh, you know, sadly. Where did you, why are you dressed in black, sir? Yeah, no, I, because it Are you an Austrian? It, uh, I am an Austrian economist. Are you French? Yeah. Uh, what's the story behind that tattoo? That's, uh, well, you think it's, it's not significant. That's a cylinder of a gun, <laughs> obviously. That's a prison tattoo. <laughs> what, uh, what prison? I'm not telling you. Okay. What, what's Obama doing wrong? <laughs> Pretty much everything. Yeah. I don't agree on anything he's done. I don't believe in Obamacare, none of that. 
So what do you want, uh, you know, what if, if you could change one thing, you know, Monday morning, what would it be? Uh, the biggest thing would be, I think, is illegal immigration. You know, I'm, I'm a construction worker. I got laid off. I was laid off for a year and a half. And I had a real difficult time finding work because uh, of illegal immigration. Well, how do you feel about religion in the public square? Um, there should be freedom of speech for everyone. And that is, uh, I think, one thing that uh, we do agree with, with uh, the folks who are here for Beck. Yeah. Um, they certainly are, are entitled to assemble and to state their views, and we are entitled to state ours, and that's what's happening today. All right, thank you. Good luck with your back. But, uh, yeah, we were here to restore honor and stuff, and I'll let you know right now, the D.C. police officers are rude and mean. Freedom for America, though. All you can say is that it's a very strange event. It wasn't I, what I was certainly expecting. It was not political in any conventional sense. It was more like a religious rally, but a kind of non-denominational, up-with-people type rally, saying that we need to be religious, we need to be honorable, we need to follow the golden rule, and that somehow, if we transform ourselves, that will transform the country. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.